Coach John Tillman on the field after Maryland wins in double overtime, a stirring victory. So I know you're going to say there's a bunch of things that went wrong. Tell me about what went right to get you to turn it around in yeah, the fourth. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, our guys really just hung in there uh, defensively, tightened up. Um, Joel Truxus came in and did a nice job at the faceoff X, kind of winning some for us, which was great. Um, offensively, you know, the guys started sharing the ball a little bit more and uh, possessing a little bit more, and then uh, felt like we just did a better job of finding some seams in the zone and then finishing our shots. Okay. Defensively, we went from Richmond getting long possessions, and then all of a sudden they had 20 second possessions, like four or five in a row. Did you change something defensively? Uh, there was a little bit more pressure. I think Coach Bernhardt upped the pressure a little bit, and uh, you know those turnovers really helped us because we had short turnover, uh, quick uh, turnovers, and short possessions, and they really hurt us with that. And you know, I feel like almost it got flipped a little bit in, in the second half. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Bubba, that was something. Andy, how are we doing, baby? Good. We're doing good. Uh, you had a couple goals where guys ran 60 yards and scored. What's that do for your bench? Uh, it's huge. You know, you know, that's the one thing about playing faster and in transition. You hope if you can get a couple there, it takes a little more pressure off your settled six on six. Uh, I know everybody's leaving here, so we're going to let you go for a happy uh, bus ride back to College Park. Thank you, John Tillman. Thanks for having me.